Hi everyone and welcome to your flipped learning this week. Today we are going to be doing something slightly different to what you've seen before. Today we are going to be focusing on comprehension and storytelling. So to begin with what I'm going to share with you is what we are going to be doing within school. Okay so as you can see on the screen we can see that we are going to be focusing on reading vipers. Okay and this is a style where we are going to ask you loads of questions based on different things. So we are going to be looking at vocabulary, we are going to be looking at inferring where we'll be asking you a range of different questions based on what you might think, some predictions, what, can you explain to me what happens in a story, can you find and retrieve information in a story and then finally can you sequence and put some things in order. So the story we are going to be focusing on today is called when the dragons came, okay? And this links to our topics, castles and dragons for this term. So before you, we start, I want you to have a think. While looking at this cover, what do you think this book will be about? If you want to have a conversation with your brothers or sisters or mums and dads about what you think the story is going to be about, you can stop the video now. I am going to continue to read, okay? This is the blurb. This is normally found at the back of the book, as you can see. Okay, and this tells us a little bit of information about what the story might be about. Because we're not going to read a whole book if we don't know where it's about to begin with. So, dragon alert. When a family load of boisterous, bumbling dragons burst into the peaceful popple downtown, there sure is going to be trouble. The market is turned upside down. The library is louder than ever, and the playgroup has never seen such destructive pupils. It's complete chaos. And in this story, they're going to have lots of rhyming words. So while I'm reading, I want you to think and see if you can spot some of the rhyming words. Okay. Let's begin. Poppledown Town was the loveliest town. The neat rows of houses had charming front gardens, with hedges and lawns that were trimmed every day. The high street provided whatever was needed. The riverbank was perfect for picnics in May. Oh yes, Poppledam Town was the loveliest town, and everyone who lived there agreed. Amelia Topping loved shopping. She skipped down the aisles of Poppledam Market, selecting her salad, her cheese and cold meats. She paused at the freezers and chose all her favourite things, then filled up her trolley with donuts and treats. Oh yes, Amelia Topping loved shopping. Until the dragons came. Frederick Creeding loved reading. He hurried each morning to Poppledown Library, treasuring the hush as he browsed along rows. He liked choosing stories, then reading them quietly, and the click of the stamp on each book that he chose. Oh yes, Frederick Creeding loved reading. Until the dragons came! So in this picture, I want you to think about how he might be feeling. What would you do if you were in this situation? Olivia Turning loved learning. She sat on the carpet at Poppledown Playgroup, eager for stories and songs with Miss Twee. She carefully moulded her plasticine biscuits, ready to use in a teddy bear's tea. Oh yes. Olivia Turning loved learning. Until the dragons came. Soon, Olivia Turning hated learning. Frederick Reading avoided reading, and Amelia Topping stopped shopping. For Popple Downtown just wasn't the same since the dragons came. But Jeremy Stamping loved camping. 
Have you ever been camping? If you have, what was your favourite part? He set up his tent on Poppledown Common, a holiday village of orange and red. He checked all the guy ropes, the pegs on the zippers, then sizzled his sausages and pumped up his bed. Oh yes, Jeremy Stamping loved camping. Until the rain came. It drummed on the canvas like zebras tap dancing. It hammered the fly sheet and trickled down the poles. It seeped into sleeping bags gathered in puddles. The campers were soggy and hungry and cold. How must they be feeling right now? Until the dragons came. Hmm, I wonder if it's going to be a different situation. They spread out their wings and provided a shelter. They dried up the puddles, cooked sausages to share. The campers saw kindness and talked with the dragons. They realised quite quickly they had not been fair. They explained to the dragons just how they'd annoyed them with clumsy behaviour and the mess that they have made. The dragon said sorry. They're meant to be friendly. They tried to be careful and calm if they stayed. So, Olivia Turning went back to her learning. Frederick Reading continued reading and Amelia Topping only went shopping on Wednesdays. when the dragons came and that is the end of our story for today so now what we are going to do is we are going to look back at some of our viper style questions for today and you can either answer them verbally so talking to your mums or dads or your brothers or sisters or you can write down the answers on some paper so these are the questions that we are going to be looking at today so the first one, which is V, the vocabulary. So you can look back through the video and think about the term trimmed. Trimmed. So what does this mean in the sentence with hedges and lawns that were trimmed every day? So that's the first question. The next part of the question you're going to think about is, can you explain why the people of Copple downtown began hating, avoiding and stopping doing the things that they loved? We've already done our prediction at the beginning about when you've seen the book cover, so we're not going to do that question today. The next one is explain. So would you like to live in a setting like this? Why and why not? So if you do, you can tell me why, and if not, then explain why you wouldn't. And then we are looking at retrieving information. So how did the dragons ruin things from the town? So I want you to look back to the video and see if you can think of some things that made them ruin the things of the town. And then finally, can you summarise, so that means bringing everything together, the beginning, the middle and the end of the story. So using some sentences, can you explain what happened at the beginning, the middle and the end? And then for some fun things to do at the end of the activity, what I've thought about is some English activities for you. So you could draw your own amazing dragon that would live in Popple Downtown. And then finally, you can write some sentences to describe it. So think about some adjectives and you might just put them around the page or you could write a sentence. And then finally, just something for you to think about today. If you were to pretend that you are the dragon at home, what would you need to do to understand people's feelings? And that is the end of our activity for today. So I'm looking forward to you sharing all your fantastic things that you've been doing at home with your teachers in school and tell them all about the day when the dragons came. Bye you one.